Hey guys, it's the bat. I'm back again with um two hauls. One that I did earlier this week at my local combo shop when I picked up the new issues. Um, I picked up some books from out of the, the cheap bins that I want to show. And this haul that I got today that I just happened upon um, that I call my haul of the summer. I, I got... I got some fantastic books. I mean, I, I just, you'll judge for yourself. Only thing I can say is, whammy. So let's get on with it. Uh, starting with Marvel Team Up, Spider Man and Ms. Marvel, issue number one. And the reason I picked this book up is because of what's going on with these new characters. They're all gaining steam, they're all real popular, um, and they're the hot thing right now. You got Spider Gwen, Miles Morales, America, Ms. Marvel, Naomi to a point, Young Avengers, um, on and on and on with, with what's going on, Riri Williams. All these characters are becoming hot. And now is the time to get a lot of them that are real cheap or books that are related to them that are cheap that have a chance to become something in the in the uh, not near future, but in the future, um, like I said many many times before, I'm a, I'm a long term collector. I really don't go, go into this to sell my comics. Um, I just buy them because I like them and I hold hold on to them. Um, but I got this book because of that issue number one, and also this book. Spider-Gwen issue number 17, for the same reason. Two of the hottest characters that are gone. Another hot group. The Ultimates, issue number one. The Ultimates 2. There's a lot of um, heat going around with Galactus as it being the life bringer. Um, and a lot of these characters here are becoming hot. Picked up a copy of Venom First Host number four with uh, appearance of the sleeper on the front cover. I found some J. Scott Campbell goodness. X-Men Black number one with Mystique on the cover and X-Men Black number one with Emma Frost on the cover. Great J. Scott Campbell cover. Brian Boland is one of my favorite artists. I loved when he was doing Judge Dredd back in the day. And because of his popularity with Killing Joke, his Joker covers are something to have. And they're just beautiful. Joker, The Last Laugh, issue number one. I picked that up, another copy of that. And I picked up the last issue of that miniseries. Issue number six. Um, Sensational She-Hulk. Issue number 18, I picked that out with a beautiful Dale Keown cover. Dale Keown um, never really got the uh, recognition that he should have as far as an artist. He's one of the better artists um, from the 90s uh, back in the day. I remember when he did a book called Dragon Force that was pretty good. And he did an Incredible Hulk for a stretch, too. Especially around the time he became Professor Professor Hulk. Yeah. Sensational She-Hulk, number 20. A, um, great bondage cover. Batman Year 100. Got a copy. Finally got a copy of that that I like. This book has never been opened. And I always wanted it. Uh, like I, I collect Elseworld comic books too. I collect a little bit of everything. Star Wars Tales. Issue number nine. This is the alternate cover. With um, photo cover of Darth Maul and Darth Vader. That's pretty hot. Now on to the books. That I got today. Fix my podium now. Uh, my stand. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man issue number nine, with the first color appearance of the White Tiger. 
and issue number 10. I like the White Tiger. I used to like uh, uh, Sons of the um, Sons of the Dragon, where each of them had the totem that the White Tiger. White Tiger has all three of the totems, and um, before him it was three three guys: um, a white guy, a Asian guy, and a black guy. They were the Sons of the Tiger. Each of them had a different totem. Thor number two eighty. With um, early appearance of Hyperion. Thor, number five annual, with um, Hercules versus Thor, the Olympians versus the Asgardians. Thor, issue six, with appearance of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I love, John Basima just has a, 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 a art style that. Sets him apart from the rest. It's a natural flow. It's just got a natural flow to the way he draws. I mean, even though they're, they're buff, they look natural. I mean, it's just the way he can draw. And um, I always uh, have a soft spot for him. It's a, it's a bunch of artists that, that really I really, really dig. And he, he's like one of the top ones for me. Black Panther, Jungle Action, issue number 23. Uh, always love this cover. Uh, see, it looks better that way. But yeah, great, great cover. Now this is the, how they say, the piece de la resistance, or I already said it. <laughs> I can't say it. But this is my whammy. These are the books of my whammy book. Fantastic Four, number 170, and what makes it a whammy is that all these books, except for the very last one that I'm going to show, are all price variants. And I walked into this collection. I mean, I was like, whoa, whoa. And they're all in excellent condition. I mean, excellent condition. Omega the Unknown, issue number two. With the appearance of the Incredible Hulk versus Omega. The price variant for issue number three with Omega versus Electro. Astonishing Tales, number 35, Deathstroke the Demolisher. Issue number 36 with um, Deathstroke the Demolisher again. Ghost Rider, number 18, with an appearance of the Thing and the Champions. Ghost Rider, number 19. Werewolf by Night, versus Brother Voodoo, issue number 39. Thor. Number 249, Great Jack Kirby, excuse me, Great Jack Kirby cover. Thor, issue number 250, a love anniversary issue. And to have issue number 250 in a 30 cent price range is like icing on the cake for me. Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 157. And Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 158. And the last book I got to show, this book is beautiful. Only thing wrong with it, on the bottom left corner, it has some water damage. And on the bottom right corner, there's a crease. But other than that, X-Men number 100. Beautiful book. And bad part about it, I haven't had the Dave Cockrum X-Men, the John Byrne X-Men, two or three times over. And um, they just keep popping up, you know. And uh, he had uh, issue number 98 and uh, 30 cent price variant. But the price on that bad boy that he wanted, well, what he wanted for it, uh, 
I couldn't do it. I could, if I did it, I could only have gotten that and maybe two or three other books. And I was like, nah, I'd rather go with the other ones and I'll go with that. But, um, whoa, man, I, I am so happy. Today was a great, great day. And like I said, only I can say is, is I got to give my own self a um, standing ovation. <laughs> I haven't done one of them in a while. I don't want to do it for a comic book. But I got to give it, give it me one for once. <laughs> Whammy! <laughs> so that, that's my video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, be well. Subscribe if you can. Thumbs up if you can, or thumbs down, uh, you know. Let me know what I'm doing wrong or whatever, what I'm doing right. <laughs> or if you just want to have a conversation, because I try to answer everybody who gives me a response, um, one way or another. You know, if you ask me a question, you get a better response. Uh, if you j just give, like, a great video or something like that, I normally say thank you. But uh, give me something to feed off of so I can talk, you know. And... That's it, guys. Until the next video, this is Bad Avenger, Sarenara.